kazi ai vijana wanachana kwa kweli ni gen z yani generation gen z ah nimeogopa you know sisi kama sisi azimio kupata watu kama wako kwa kwa maandamano kama hiyo unakuwa unatumia pesa mingi sana mwana siasa ya mobilization eh eh yeah, these people eh uh, you know you know mimi naangalia president akiongea hii maneno ya uh, na naona naona president akiongea hii vitu ati ati kusema ati kuforce hii generation mm? mimi niko live sasa hii niko live kwa instagram sasa hii for the first time watu wameingia wengi sana kwa instagram yangu eh sasa hii wameingia 900 and na nimeingia sasa hii 2 minutes ago eh huh? so 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 let me just try to look at this matter um rasto ama nani ni nisongeshe nataka kuingia live pole pole tu chini nataka kuongea na majenzi raja wengi wa hapa ni majenzi ambao wako hapa so we want to have a discussion on this just pole pole tu yeah so one, one thing i learned today the generation that we are having today it is those people are smart today with my own eyes nimetoka town by the way nimetoka town on mus na bado unasikiza pale nilikana nilikana nikakuwa pale kwa kisa sivyo nimeanza kupiga kura nikakaa kwa ICC juu unakaa ile side nyingine ya state house zinalipuka the other side ya sijundi wa utaring ndio hizo side nyingine ndio hiyo mazeni waheshimu one thing i'm just trying to say is that uh, the mps and I, and for the first time hii imekuwa country wide sijui sio nyeri sijui sio wapi sio wapi it is high time that members of parliament we need to listen to these people it is either we move with them or they go ahead of us and they are leaderless and this is the moment of revolution the revolutions uh, were done by uh, like the french revolution were done by the young people the economic liberation the arab uh, liberation were done by the young people and so it's very high time that the president needs to understand the kind of the generations that we leo nimeona wameka golgate like mtu ameka hapa golgate like ikipiga it absorb tigers guys um like this is amazing for me as a member of parliament i'll try on tuesday to make sure that all those because tunaenda ku vote on clauses clause 1 2 3 4 and even for those who are saying like kama atakuwa me hide anything uh, like maybe the kenyans are not aware we are going to be able to know because all the amendments hata ile yalikuwa nasema few and levy nini nini yeah we are going just to highlight them all in all but where there's a problem is that we need to go back and relook in fact tukwe tunaangalia finance kwanza then tunajua like this is how much you can collect eh uh, tunaweza collect as a nation and then we budget within our limit and then we live within our limit i think that is that is that is the most crucial thing that's the most crucial thing that i noted in this thing and that is why even in the parliament i proposed that we need to have the office of the uh, uh, the, the office of the inspector general of public finance so that we can be able to Uh, have a team of professionals a team of professionals who can be able to internalize and uh, tell Kenyans like yes if we bring this thing you know there was a lot of confusion there was a lot of confusion in between yeah so we need to have a group of uh, 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 professionals who are going to guide the nation on some of the bills and everything meanwhile guys i'm so grateful Uh, it was peaceful and we should maintain being peaceful um yeah at least they will listen they they have no option they will have to listen by the way if they have the numbers and by the way ah 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 to go the numbers what the numbers the judiciary you know so when angel lazima ushikishe lazima ushikishe ndio sikie Because now the parliament there is very little that we can do we will shout we will do what but at the end of the day that is it anyway i let me not feel like inciting because uh, we still have a room on tuesday um 
to give away for the third reading. So, guys, I don't have much to say today. But you people, the young people, ni meogopa. Adi mefanya kina jelago wakapiga yes. Iyo ni kwa tari zani. So, sina mengi ya kusema. But um, if the president wants to transform this land, there is a lot of things that he needs to do. Number one, we should go and trace the euro bond. We should go and trace the euro bond. The money of the euro bond of about, I don't know, of billions of shillings that got stuck in the in the in the air that about 700 billion 400 i don't know uh, the billions of shillings and by that time we know governor Njugo, njuguna was the central governor of the central bank and then uh Tuke was the ps of uh finance uh, and then uh, 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 now today Juguna is the CS of finance cabinet secretary of finance then uh, Tuge is the governor of the central bank so these people they know how the euro bond uh, moved around they should tell members they should tell members of the public like if the president is very keen to deliver this country from the hands of taxation, let us go and look for that Eurobond money because we are paying for the debts that never benefited anyone. That is the kind of the conversation that we need to know. If the money came like, even we need also to propose the, uh, the, the, the central bank is never audited. Eh? The central bank is never audited. So if the money is not um, uh, audited, the central bank, no one audits the central bank. So if there is a problem with the central bank, like we have those guys that are playing with our minds, no one cannot, uh, can explain. We need also to f do audit of all the dates that are there and that is the kind of also the conversation that we should have as as a nation and this is the question that the young people are looking for and members of parliament i'm telling you if you don't look at these things things are not going to be easy anymore for me as i peter salasi i'm still very young to lose an election i'm still very young i'm still very young i'm a very small boy um and I just want to listen on the ground what is the ground saying ala nikipika kitu yangu hapa ni sawa lakini mimi mwenyewe najua hmm hmm eh watu wengi walikuwa nauliza oh mheshimiwa uko na sudi sasa ongepiga sudi rafiki yangu lakini sasa when it comes on the issues you have to listen on the ground ground what are you saying ground tells me ta mheshimiwa kuja simama na wana Kenya now when I say manini, they say is that we don't need to be popular. Popular, we have to that some decision. We are elected by the people. Uh, we are elected by the people. And the people whom we are elected, we must be able to listen from them. I saw the budget. I saw the budget. I saw the budget. Budget, ego. Iyo budget rudi huko. Tuanze kukagua. Hii budget hii, barabara hii, barabara gani hii zenye ziko very key ambazo tunawekelea pesa. Let us live within our means. Mambo mengi. Oh sijui pesa ngapi billion inaenda sijui kwa 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 sijui eh, hii, sijui billion hii. Una draw hiyo pesa, tunatoa hiyo pesa wapi? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow to take a rest because it has been a very a very hard day for us. But um, you people moishim, yini watu, yini watu, yini watu, yini moishim, yini watu. Hey, you people, you people. Hey, hey, content creators, what in me ona? Had in me ona ziad, me ona ziad. Meona kina Terence, 
Nimeona sijiwe kina nani all content creators. Kwa bunge ni recognize all content creators, on behalf of all content creators. Uh, on behalf of all content creators, my nimesema. And um we will do it away with some of the bills like kama mimi ile taxation we need to do away with it yeah, on the digital platform because number one, hii inaenda kuleta kitu inaitwa eh inaenda kufanya most of the people to to move away the, the, the increase in the in the increase in the taxation on digital platforms on uh, digital platform providers is going to make majority of uh, uh, digital providers to migrate from Kenya because of the labor they can identify countries that have cheap labor and migrate there sijaona vera sindika wewe amesema hujaona vera sindika eh wewe wewe ni mnyaba watu wapigwe salasi ya kofi eh eh acha nisome comments kwa hapa ndio nirudi huko Chance so many comments ndiozi ya mpige for president 20 na unajua mnaweza fanya ni sababu president eh jekele abo aka sahi hakuna gari so guys tutakuja tutaongea kesho we'll have more and try to internalize uh, this finance bill otherwise thanks so much thank you for following me let's keep going your future is bright kenya is going to be a, a good place there's going to be accountability in this country because of what you have shown this nation there, there will be no one who will shall sit in a complacency complacency uh, there will be no one who will shall sit in the complacency everybody now sahizi ako kwa anajua there is people watching <laughs>